El Mencho in the CJNG. Authorities say the power and influence of one particular cartel is spreading far beyond the U.S.-Mexico border. More drugs have come across the Arizona border into the United States than the rest of the American border combined. John Levitt is a Tucson police captain who is the commander for the Counter Narcotics Alliance. He tells the Digging Deeper team that over the past several decades, Mexican drug cartels have been expanding their power south of the border often with deadly consequences. The CJNG is ruthless in their quest for money and power. They now control 24 of Mexico's 32 Javier Serrano is a reporter at Baja News Publication and captured these images on the ground. He says the drug cartel Jalisco New Generation threatened mass violence if the Mexican government fails to release some of its members. Uh, there is the cartel of Sinaloa and the cartel of Jalisco trying to define who is the man, I mean, who is the, the, the ruler here, who's going to take the big piece of cake of Biden. There's the guy who's running the Mexico City Police Department who survived an attack by the Jalisco New Generation cartel, Garcia Hafuch, Omar Garcia Hafuch, some gangsters in, in a place called Tepito, La Unión de Tepito. And I went down there and, and, and checked out, and they had a yeah, very constant kind of police operations. Pre dawn there. raid team scooped up 250 cartel operatives, all said to be connected to the new generation cartel known as the CJNG in Mexico. The operation managed from this Drug Enforcement Administration Command Center in Virginia. Teams deployed nationwide to execute 100 search warrants and make arrests, including 50 in the Chicago area. Consi Hello, and welcome to this video about the Jalisco Cartel New Generation or CJNG, one of Mexico's most powerful and violent criminal organizations. In this video, we'll explore the history, leadership, geography, and tactics of the CJNG, as well as its impact on Mexico and the international drug trade. Ignacio Coronel Villegas, also known as Nacho, was one of the main drug lords of the Sinaloa drug cartel, one of the most powerful in Mexico. He was a wanted man in both Mexico and the United States for crimes related to drug trafficking. A spokesman with Mexico's Defense Department said that during the raid to capture him, the drug lord fired back at soldiers, killing one and wounding another before being shot and killed himself. Coronel was hiding in a residential area in a suburb of Guadalajara, the same city where President Felipe Calderón was making a public appearance Thursday. The CJNG merged in 2010 as a result of the killing of former Sinaloa cartel capo Ignacio Coronel, also known as Nacho, by Mexican security forces. Prior to his death, Nacho gave orders to Oscar Orl and Onava Valencia, also known as El Lobo, the leader of the Milenio cartel, which operated primarily in the states of Jalisco and Colima. After Nacho's death and El Lobo's capture, the Milenio cartel split into two factions, La Resistencia and the Torchidos, which became the CJNG. The Navy says the suspects are part of the so-called New Generation Gang and that the group was also behind the killing of 35 people whose bodies were dumped on a highway in Veracruz two weeks ago. Along with the New Generation suspects, on Friday the Navy showed off a dozen members of the Zetas Gang, including the group's alleged leader of its Veracruz branch. Last week, a group linking themselves to the new generation proclaimed they were the Matazetas, or Zetas killers. Buenas tardes. In their paramilitary-style web video, they implied they had been responsible for the previous 35 killings from two weeks ago, saying they were clearing the streets of the Zetas, one of Mexico's main drug gangs. Despite the Matazetas' vigilante posturing, the Navy says all these killings were carried out by just another drug gang fighting for turf. Led by El Mencho, the CJNG quickly became known for its aggressive views of violence, including homicides, forced disappearances, and the discovery of mass graves. The group also fought against the Zetas drug trafficking organization in Veracruz under the name Mataz Zetas or Zetas Killers and claimed responsibility for several high-profile attacks against public officials in Mexico.
¡Pura gente del señor Mencho! 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 Tonight, the DEA is offering $10 million for information leading to the arrest of the Mexican drug kingpin known as El Mencho. He's blamed for a flood of narcotics into the U.S. The DEA says this man is a major part of the problem. He's a rising Mexican drug lord named Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, known simply as El Mencho. Matthew Donahue is the DEA's top agent in Mexico and has helped uncover dozens of El Mencho's drug labs in the jungle. El Mencho's cartel is responsible for roughly a third of the drugs entering this country by land and by sea. He has a $10 million bounty on his head. Ironically, he lived in California some 30 years ago, where he was arrested on drug charges and eventually deported back to Mexico. What we're seeing now is the new generation uh, cartel, very violent cartel being run by uh, an individual by the name of El Mencho, Ruben Cervantes, who, by the way, has a $5 million State Department award on his, on his head. He, he's a person that... We, we would consider as public enemy number one, yes. When El Chapo was Chicago's top enemy, his Sinaloa cartel for decades controlled 80% of the city's illicit drugs. Now with Chapo locked up and awaiting trial in New York, McKnight says this man, known as El Mencho, and his new generation cartel have taken over a sizable chunk of Chicago's drug And the CJNG leader, Nemesio El Mencho Asegura Cervantes, who now has a $10 million U.S. bounty on his head. El Mencho named in this new racketeering indictment today out of D. Prosecutors citing numerous acts of violence, including murders, assaults, kidnappings, assassinations, and acts of torture. He is still a fugitive, believed to be hiding in Mexico, while the DEA has recently charged his son and daughter with cartel crimes. El Mencho is considered the leader and founder of the CJNG, and both the U.S. and Mexico have offered substantial rewards for his capture. Other senior figures include Eric Valencia Salazar, also known as L85, Eliza's Moratapia, Jose Manuel Abuzaid El Bea, and Alfredo Galindo Salazar. Despite the capture of some top leaders, the CJNG continues to expand and pose a major threat to Mexico's security. CJNG has rapidly expanded its operations and now has a presence in almost every part of Mexico except Sinaloa and the Golden Triangle of Heroin Production. However, the group does not necessarily control every area it operates in. It is particularly dominant in Jalisco, Nayarit, Colima, Michoacan, Veracruz, Guanajuato, Puebla, Querétaro, and Hidalgo, as well as strategic areas such as Tijuana, Juarez, and Terracolinti. killed in gang ambush.
More than a dozen Mexican state police officers were killed in an ambush by suspected gang members in the western part of the country on Monday. Mexican police officers were ambushed by gang members while on their way from Puerto Vallarta to Guadalajara on Monday. The attack took place along the Mascota Las Palmas Highway when gang members blocked the officers, surrounded them, and opened fire. Fifteen police officers were killed while five were injured. Authorities said this was the second major attack on security forces in less than a month in the region. The CJNG is known for its extreme violence and sophisticated armament, including machine guns and grenade launchers. The group has been involved in numerous attacks against security forces, including the killing of 15 police officers in an ambush in Jalisco in 2015. The CJNG has also used idealistic propaganda to appeal to Mexican citizens, promising to rid its areas of operation of other crime syndicates and even distributing toys and goods during the coronavirus pandemic. The King's violent tactics and rapid expansion have made it a major threat to Mexico's security and stability. The group is involved in drug trafficking, extortion, kidnapping, and other criminal activities and has caused numerous deaths and human rights violations. The CJNG also has links to other criminal Mexican organizations drug and international Ignacio drug Oseguera trafficking Cervantes, networks, and its activities have elemental. spilled over into the United States and, and other and countries. In conclusion, the CJNG is a powerful and violent criminal organization that has emerged as a result of killings, captures, and rifts in older cartels in Mexico. Led by El Mencho, the CJNG has expanded rapidly and now has a presence in almost everywhere in Mexico and some parts of the U.S.